Hey guys, so we got a new space heater and it had been on my list for quite some time and uh, the only reason we didn't get it is because we couldn't afford it and it wasn't a priority and um, I found one on eBay for a decent price so I went ahead and swiped it up since winter is coming and I really just wanted to test one of these things out. Um, but the heater is, the space heater is a wall panel heater and it is very thin and um, isn't on the floor, although you could get a stand and have it on the floor. And as you can see, it only uses 400 watts. So that can really um, ask some questions like, well, how much heat does it really put out if there's only 400 watts? That's equal to like four 100 watt light bulbs. So how much heat is that? Um, well, we've had it for three weeks and I can tell you that we were extremely skeptical whenever we first got it, um, especially after looking at it in person. And uh, I can tell you that now I would definitely say that it was a good buy. Um, I was a little bit surprised at how big it is. Here it is on the actual wall. I'll take a few steps back. It is two feet by two feet, so it's really big. Uh, and if you're in an RV like we are, or a tiny house, you're going to want to really make sure that you have enough wall space. That is literally the only space in our RV that that thing could fit in. Every other wall space, um, has something on it like this you can't put it over an outlet and there's there's literally no other space that we could put it at so we put it there um, it is above our heater and above the outlet down there but it has an on and off switch and here's the power cord um, this little thing I'm not exactly sure what it's for but I know you have to pull it up in order for it to be switched on here, sorry, is the thermometer and you can, uh, well it's a temperature gauge, you can just put it on a temperature, whatever you want, and it'll stay there. Now this does have, comes with, I don't know if you can see it, but down there is a foil type sticky shield. So I put that on the wall and the heat bounces off there and comes up. but. Essentially what happens is that is cold air rides up through it and then circulates and becomes hot. So anyways, it works well. It's pretty hot to the touch right now, but I mean, it's not going to burn you. Like I can put my hand on it and it just be pretty hot. Um, it works well. I would recommend it. Some of my concerns are, since having it, is I have two little boys and they roughhouse a lot um, and they run around. I mean, this whole floor space right here is basically all they have. So they run in circles all the time, especially on rainy days, stormy days, really bad snowy days. So this is their, their area to play. and. It's ceramic. It's breakable. Um, I'm really afraid that one of them will accidentally run into it and crack it down the middle, which I've seen happen online. So that's my one concern um, with it. Other than that, it works wonderful. Um, my boys don't really mess with it too much. They have touched it when it's been on and been like, ooh, that's hot. I'm like, yeah, that's hot. It won't burn them or anything like that. They'll just put their hand on it and be like, oh, I, that's a little bit too hot for me to touch. But um, if you guys do end up getting this, I would highly recommend getting your own screws. The screws that come with it, they're uh, drywall screws, I, I believe they are. Um, they are really cheap. And uh, yeah, I didn't like them at all. But I would just get your own screws and... Also, if you screw this in too tight, it will crack the ceramic uh, panel. So be careful of that. 
but comes with this instruction sheet and this is actually a template too so there's holes there so you put this on your wall you'll mark the holes and that's where you drill and you can put the uh, little ceramic hole things in there I'm sorry I don't know what they are they're those you put those in there and then you put the screws in that but like I said the screws are really cheap so I wouldn't necessarily use the screws that they come with but it comes with that and I don't know I really like it a lot my husband really likes it it's out of the way we already have a really small floor space so having something like that up and out of the way is is really good and the cord is usually tucked away I just have it out right now so you can see how long the cord is but it is not going to be something you want if you are RVing in a really cold area so if you're RVing up north and the winters are pretty harsh there this is not something you're gonna solely want to rely on um, we had a really cold night a few nights ago and we had that going and we had this going and this is I want to say about a 1500 watt ceramic heater and the whole place down here was pretty hot so we turned that off and then just left this on but um, that puts out way way more heat than the 400 watt panel does this is good for we've had like um, 40 degree weather so far I would I would say if you're dipping below the 30s you're gonna want uh, another form of heat or something something to supplement this now it does say that this is for I think it said it's for 10 by 10 space um, I'm not quite sure the dimensions what's going on here in our little living room area but I know it's more than 10 by 10 probably not by much but uh, it does the job and it's our boys are sleeping right over there so they're kept warm I can tell you that we had this on all night and then um, in the morning when we came down it was hot down here and then cold in our bedroom because the air did not creep up to our room which wouldn't we wouldn't expect um, so anyways if you are in gonna be in something that's um, above 40 degrees then th this is something you'll want to invest in but if you're gonna be in a winter that's really cold and you're gonna need something to stay really warm this is not gonna be your solution um, we got this because we knew we were going to be down south and I know that last year we had tried to run our generator and had the uh, little space heaters going and this it just wouldn't run at all. Our space heaters took up too many watts and so that was a major reason for us wanting to get this so that we can run a generator eventually when we get one um, and have a heater going. So that was our main reason. It puts out a lot of a lot of air. There's hot air coming out on the top, and then on the bottom, it's pretty cold. So that is my review. I do recommend it, but like I said, if you're in a very cold area, not worth your money. So you you will want to stick with these or other space heaters that really produce some serious heat. So any questions, feel free to ask me. And uh, if I forgot anything, just let me know.